Hello, space enthusiasts. Welcome to the Impact Newsroom of the European Space Agency's Global Development Assistance Programme, that's GDA for short, where we believe in accelerating impact. I'm your host, Lisa Burke, and I'm thrilled to be guiding you through the world of GDA, where our focus is on catalyzing positive change through innovative space solutions. So let's launch into this episode with a quick introduction from Christoph Obrecht, the program coordinator. Chris, welcome to the first episode of the GDA Impact Newsroom. Can you tell us a bit more about your role, the objectives and the expected impacts of the program? In GDA, our mission is to accelerate impact by leveraging the full power of satellite Earth observation in international development operations. GDA is implemented in partnership with key international financial institutions, or IFIs, and boosts a dedicated cooperation framework we call Space for International Development Assistance, in short, Space for IDA. Partnership in Space for IDA implies programmatic co-ownership and coordination including aligned mobilization of both space and development finance. To discuss the future of GDA, we first need to look at the past. We recently celebrated 15 years of partnership between ESA and the World Bank. This long-term perspective allows us to think broadly about systemic impact rather than short-term gains. Our strategic approach is now attracting wide interest across the development community and empowers us to broaden and expand the Space for IDA vision by strengthened and new partnerships. Time to delve into the GDA cosmos with a review of recent events, insights and highlights. Benjamin Kurtz, the head of ESA's Sustainable Initiatives Office, attended the Asian Development Bank's biennial flagship event on digital development, Digital XADB. He contributed to panel discussions with the development partners and represented ESA on behalf of Earth Observation Director Simonetta Kelly on the board meeting of ADB's advisory group on digital technology for development, chaired by the ADB president Matsatsuga Asakawa. Reporting from the ADB headquarters, Benjamin shared some insights on the strategic institutional partnership and collaborative efforts implemented with ADB. So we have uh, worked together with ADB on a use case in, um, in Cambodia. We helped ADB to implement um, a nature-based solution in supporting a a project which was building a emba river embankment of the Mekong River to protect the local po um, population from flooding. And there we really put in all our, um, our information from the Earth observations, like the history, historic flooding events. So finally, to design the river embankment in a much shorter way, so cutting out four kilometers, which uh, was translating into saving 5 million US dollars. It's remarkable how space technology not only broadens our understanding of Earth, but also aids in optimizing investments and fostering the development of more efficient infrastructure. This technological advancement offers immense potential for cost savings, efficiency gains and the overall enhancement of investment strategies, paving the way for more streamlined ventures in infrastructure development. The Space for International Development Assistance IDA, cooperation framework, a collaborative effort between ESA and key international financial institutions IFIs, including the World Bank and Asian Development Bank, recently underwent a comprehensive review as part of GDA's continuous programmatic monitoring and evaluation efforts. This first annual evaluation assessed the progress of space for IDA's mission, as boosted by GDA to promote the use of Earth observation for global development. The review, conducted by Caribou Space, identified crucial lessons and strategic recommendations. With us is David Tavener, who will tell us more about the report. We firmly believe in continual evaluation during a programme's life cycle so that the lessons and learnings can feed into the programme's strategy and direction whilst it is underway. 
This annual evaluation of Space for International Development Assistance is a prime example of that approach. An interactive animation film showcasing Earth observations benefits for urban planning has been released. Cosmopolis marks a significant step forward in the realm of Earth observations application for urban planning. However, this is just the beginning. An upcoming follow-up promises a groundbreaking level of engagement where viewers will be able to navigate through the city of Cosmopolis with their own avatars, truly immersing themselves in the narrative and exploring firsthand the benefits of satellite-based information products in shaping sustainable urban environments. So stay tuned for this unparalleled interactive experience that will revolutionise the way we engage with Earth observation and urban planning. But for now, you can watch the full film through the link in the description. ESA's GDA is at the forefront of groundbreaking initiatives where space technology meets global development. The upcoming events promise intriguing insights, promoting innovation and collaboration on a global scale. The GDA Climate Resilience Team will be particularly busy with the following community gatherings not to be missed. ESA's Hydrospace Workshop in Lisbon. That takes place from the 27th of November to the 1st of December, with a keynote highlighting collaborative work with the World Bank in South Sudan. The COP28 Climate Conference on the 30th of November until 12th of December in Dubai, where various GDA-related engagements and partnership initiatives will be featured. To make sure you're always in the know, explore the dedicated GDA web portal featuring the latest news and events, and keep an eye on the upcoming launch of our dedicated GDA social media channels. Thanks so much for joining us as we explore the limitless potential of space technology for development assistance, embodying the motto, Accelerating Impact. So goodbye for now and look forward to reconnecting with you in the next episode as we continue our journey on leveraging innovation for tangible and accelerated societal progress.